Now we will solve the first problems. The problem is we search for the edge, is the height of the cliff, and then we search for the range. First, we use the formula d equal to v initial times t plus one over two times a times t square. Then we we'll get we search for the dy. dy equal to v y initial times t plus 1 over 2 times a y uh, the, uh, the acceleration is a y because we search for the y and then times t square dy is equal to h is what we search uh, the ball <laughs> the ball will move or uh, um, rolls horizontally so the v initial is equal to 0 then we we'll put in the equation h is equal to 0 plus 1 over 2 times a times t square then we we'll put in the acceleration acceleration is the gravitational force so 9.81 times 7 square 7 is time then we we'll calculate it and we get 240.35 meters Let's see, we we'll search for the range. Range is equal to Vx times T. Vx is 30, 30 meter per second. And then we time, we'll times it with times um, 7 seconds. And we get 210 meters for the range. This is the horizontal distance traveled by the ball. Alright, now we solve the second problems. It's about a circle ball that is being kicked horizontally from the root of a building. It's 150 meter tall. This is edge 150 meter. And then uh, we search for the um, velocity for the initial speed of the ball. First, we do the um, theorem Pythagoras vy like this and vx horizontal we search for the v this is the hypotenuse v square equal to vx square plus vy square v is equal to square root vx square plus vy square the ball move or roll horizontally so the v initial is zero then we we'll put in the equation v equal to vx plus 0 then v is equal to vx this is what we will search for and then we search for the distance distance is dx equal to vx time t the dx is 0 so dx is equal to range and then we we'll put in a deformation h equal to v initial time t plus 1 over 2 times a times t square. If you wondering, it's from this equation. d is equal to v initial times t plus 1 over 2 times a times t square. And then uh, we put on the value. v initial is 0. So plus 1 over 2 a t square. And then uh, h is 150 equal to 1 over 2 times Gravi uh, gravitational force 9.81 so it's time t squared and then we'll uh, organize it to time uh, to find the t then we calculate it we'll get t equal to 5.53 seconds finally we search for the range range is equal to eh, no 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 we search for the velocity the in initial speed uh, we use the range formula. Uh, range is equal to one, uh, 200 from the question. And then equal to Vx times T. We put in the value and we search for the Vx 
the initial speed is 36.15 uh, meter per second. Okay, first things first, um, we want to find the speed of the rock um, that has fallen down from the cliff. So, um, in order to find the speed, we need to know the time taken uh, for the rock to fall down first. But um, uh, before that, we need to find the t um, vertically because we cannot use um, we cannot find the t um, using horizontally because we don't have the acceleration. The acceleration is A, so we can't find the T. So we need to find it uh, vertically. So here we have acceleration equals to 9.81 um, meter per second square. And then we have Y initial equals to zero. And Y equals to 100, 100. And V initial equals to zero. And then we have the formula here y equals to y initial plus v initial times t plus 1 over 2 a t square and then um, we already know that um, y initial equals to 0 and v initial also equals to 0 so we simplify the formula into y equals to 1 over 2 a t square and then um, we organize the formula to get the t which is uh, finally equals to square root 2y over a and then we put the value into the equation which is t equals to square root 2 times 100 per 9 over 9.81 and then we got the t equals to 4.52 seconds and then moving on to the horizontally direction we have the formula x equal to x initial plus v initial times t plus 1 over 2 a t square and then as i said before a equals to 0 and x initial also equals to 0 so we simplify the formula into x equals to v initial times t and then we we will get we want to know the the speed so we need to make the v initial equals to x over t and then we put in the value and then we finally get v initial equals to 95 over 4.52 which is the time and we got the answer equals to 21 meter per second. Okay, now we solve the fourth problem. It's about a football that is being kicked and it leaves the ground at an angle of 38 degrees above the horizontal and it's moving at 20 meters per second. The question is how far horizontally does the football travel? First, we search for the uh, V initial. V initial x equal to uh, 20. 20 is the V initial and then cos the, uh, tetra, tetra is 38 degree and then we get the V initial for x, 15.8 meter per second. Then we, the V initial y is 20 sine, the tetra is 38 degree equal to 12.3 meter per second and then we search for the times. First, we need to use the uh, the formula 
y equal to uh, y initial plus v initial times t plus 1 over 2 times a times t square. The y in this uh, equation is 0. y initial is 0. And then uh, the v initial times 3 plus 1 over 2 uh, times a uh, times t square. And then uh, we we'll organize the formula, the equation, and then until we get the t equal to uh, negative 2 times v initial per a. Negative 2 times the v initial is, we get the v initial uh, y because it is vertical, 12.3. And then over the gravitational force, this a, gravitational force, negative 9.81 and then we get 2.51 seconds after that we search for the horizontal the how far the tra uh, football traveled and then uh, we put in the x equal to x initial plus v initial times t plus 1 over 2 times a times t square the x we search for the x and the x initial is 0 plus v initial times 3 and the times uh, uh, the 1 over 2 times a times t square is 0 because the a is 0 there's no uh, acceleration and then uh, we simplify it and it gets x equal to v initial times t v initial is 15.8 the v initial for y a eh, for the x and then times 2.51 meter that is time and then we get 40 meters for the for the how far horizontally does the football travel